Coming up for all you food rangers, we're traveling through western Sichuan in search of local Tibetan street food. We found some amazing meals you're not going to want to miss. Starting out right here in Kangding with a bowl of yak meat noodles and then making our way for a 7 hour drive to one of the highest towns in the world. We found some delicious local Tibetan cooking along the way and also got into the back of a local kitchen. And then later on had a Tibetan feast for dinner. Let's check it out. Alright, so check it out guys, it's Trevor James. We're in Kangding, West Sichuan now. Today we're going to one of the highest cities in the world, Litang, 4,000 meters up, all in search of delicious local street food. Let's check it out. First up, before beginning our journey into the mountains and the highlands into Litang, we had to start out by getting a huge bowl of delicious mago mian, an amazing Sichuan style pork gravy noodles with extra added yak meat. When you walk up in the cold weather and see the steam coming from noodle joints like this, you get so excited to try them out. We're going deep for noodles. Wow, this is your noodles. Wow, look at that. This is your noodles. Wow, it's so good. So that is a pork gravy that goes over top of the noodles. Wow, that just looks amazing. Oh, you can smell that pork essence. Tai xiang la. Okay, we just got the maga mian. Take a look here. This is incredibly aromatic, guys. Nice big chunks of beef with that xiajiang mixed pork gravy over top. This is the dry version. And on the bottom, let's take a look at the bottom. Oh, wow. That smells so good. There is chili oil and garlic and ginger on the bottom. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. That is so aromatic. These beef chunks, I actually just asked the front, they are actually mao nyu ro. So that is yak meat. Yak meat noodles. Awesome. This is like gloopy, sloppy, meaty, gravy heaven. They give you a bit of cabbage, boiled cabbage in there as well. Oh, that is so steamy and satisfying. Mmm. Wow. It's like a pork gravy. You really taste that sloppy pork gravy goodness with a slight spice and there's nice chunks of beef in there. Wow, that is a that is sloppy noodle delight. After those life-changing noodles, our hostel recommended a local Tibetan driver to take us the seven hour drive to Li Tang. He took us to one of his local friends' places for lunch along the way. But before that, we encountered some incredibly beautiful scenery and had some difficulty breathing as well. All right, so now we're on the San Yao Ba, which is a national highway that goes from Shanghai all the way to Lhasa. Today, we're going to Litang, 4,000 meters up, and we're gonna stop for lunch in a little village along the way. And this is just absolutely stunning. We're going over peaks and valleys and passes that are incredibly beautiful. Can't wait to see what we can find today. So we just stopped. I think we're about a third of the way to Litang. We're at the top of an overpass. This is about 4,000 meters up. I'm already a little out of breath. We're gonna take a little hike up and check out the view. Look at these beautiful prayer flags. This is the first of three passes today. It's absolutely stunning. There's these clouds rolling in. There's prayer flags everywhere. And we're gonna continue the journey and hopefully find some local Tibetan food. This is amazing. As you continue along the 318, the roads get super windy and you go higher and higher, passing through incredible scenery and local villages that make you wanna stop and hang around in. But we were on a mission to get to Litang, so we had a quick stop in one of the villages for a local lunch and ate some more incredible yak meat. We just rolled up. We're going to have a local Tibetan lunch here. This is beautiful. Let's go see what we can eat. We're going to get some prime yak meat. Ah, this is Mao Nyu Roma. Yes, Mao Nyu Roma. Good Mao Nyu Roma. Oh, we're going to get... Oh! I'm going to get from Kangdin. Oh, that's good. We're going to get the best yak meat. What's good. You like what kind of meat? You like what We're going to get the clear flavor. We had three specialty dishes. The first was the pure flavor yak meat, pressure cooked with a little bit of chili and Sichuan peppercorn. And the next was an amazing fried yak meat and pickled chilies. So we're also getting a pao jiao mao nyu ro, which is sliced yak meat with pickled chilies, stir fried. This is the best mao nyu ro. 
，哇，吃咸的吗？吃最好的。吃咸的。好、oh. oh, ，可以吃吗？可以，可以，可以。Wow, raw yak meat. A driver, Guile, just had some. So look at that, raw yak meat. Oh, Janzai Lajiao Ma. All right, dip in the little Lajiao. We're going in for raw yak meat. Okay. Mmm. How's it? How's it? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like a super strong beef, actually. It's a more gamey beef. Oh, dipped in the chili. Not bad. And we're just gonna cook that up with a little bit of pickled chili. Wow, you can, oh, the pickled chili with that yak meat. Oh, that just smells so good. Yak meat. Oh, he's just throwing a little MSG and chicken essence in there. Oh, the pickled chilies. Oh, the pickled chilies and the ginger. There goes a little starch. Wow, this is too香 Oh. There it is. Oh, there it is, guys. Yak meat with pickled chilies, ginger, and garlic. Wow. That is incredible. Bendy Ren, why do you like your mouth? Do you like your body? Yes, it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, yeah. So that's what it's all about, guys. This mouth, this is Pao Jiao mouth that we just ordered here. And that is pickled chilies with ginger and garlic. And apparently if you eat that in the high altitudes, it helps with your altitude sickness and gives you strength, of course. The third dish was a nice stir-fried fresh water spinach. This here was a true local Sichuan-style Tibetan lunch. This is really what it's all about, guys, coming into back kitchens, chatting with the chefs, and tasting new flavors. Wow, tai xiang la. Oh, mao nyu ro. Ah, wow. wow, look at this, guys. Look at this, guys. Local Tibetan feast for lunch. So beautiful with our driver, Guile. This is the Zhangzhou Tosema. Yeah, lots of yak meat. How's your Looks good. So we have yak meat boiled in a pressure cooker with chilies and Sichuan peppercorns and radish. And then we have yak meat with pickled chilies, garlic, and ginger. And then we also have some Kong Xing Thai fried water spinach. But honestly, what I'm looking forward to most here is this. Wow. Look at that fried yak meat. Oh, and they're bringing a little bit of cilantro. Xiang Tai. Xie Xie Ni Man. This can you like Tai? How chula? How chula? Yak meat. Ah, Xie Xie Ni Man. Yak meat with pickled chili. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. How chula? Manuro is like a stronger beef. It's a bit gamey. So flavorful. That gao yang de fang chur manuro. Mm. And then we've got these big chunks of malnuro. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. With radish, chili, and peppercorn. Mm. Oh, mm, it's a little chewy, but still juicy at the same time. Mmm. Tian Tian Tai Guila ma? Ah, Tai Guila. Tai Guila. Hmm. This is the best. Hmm. This is the best. Hmm. Now you're home. Best yak meat right here. This is honestly a very energetic, powerful, strong meal for this elevation. All of that yak meat. It just, it's a bit chewy. I gotta be honest, but it is definitely flavorful. And there is a bit of a juicy explosion in there as well. Combined with those pickled chilies and yak meat. Oh, it's heaven. We're gonna make our way. Continue on the road. Awesome. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. We're making our way to Litang, highest, one of the highest cities in the world, higher than Lhasa. On this road, you'll want to stop and take photos at nearly every corner. But we had to get to Litang to eat dinner, so we just stopped once and kept moving. We have a bit of a hold up here. <laughs> this is the Mount Hero. 
delicious. <laughs> oh. Look at this, guys. We're in the highlands now, and all of this is Tibetan highland barley. And this is what's used to make the chingke, which you mix together with the suyo yak butter. And you can have that zamba that we had the other night. And you can also see there's some yaks in the back there. This is really fun exploring around. We arrived to Litang super late at night, both with pounding headaches from the elevation. So we went for a quick Tibetan dinner and then went back to our hotel, which supplied oxygen and had a rest. All right, so we just got into Litang. It's been a long day. Both of us have really bad headaches right now, but we're just gonna stop in for some Tibetan food before we head back to the hotel. Oh, Wow, look at this guys. We have a Tibetan feast here today. We have yak curry over rice. Oh, this is really what I'm looking forward to trying. This is made with a curry powder. I asked him in the back kitchen. Oh, nice tender chunks of yak. There's a bit of Sichuan chili and potato in there. And then look over here, guys. We have big fatty plump fried beef momos. And then we've got over here, look at this. Oh yeah, nice and slurp worthy yak noodle soup. This honestly looks like a combination between Sichuan and Tibetan cuisine full of chili oil, full of that rich, rich chili broth, nice slices of yak. Oh, I mixed them all up, but they're in there. And then we have shoujua, maunyuro, hand grasped yak meat. This looks similar to what we had for lunch today. What I really wanna try first here is the curry yak. That looks incredible. We're gonna make this quick because we both have headaches. Ting is tired, I'm tired from that long journey. Mm, this looks incredible. Mm. Oh. oh, it's quite, it's actually quite salty. The yak meat is very tender. It has a curry powder. Have you ever had yellow curry powder? It tastes exactly like that. A bit salty, but still really, really enjoyable. The best thing here was definitely the fried beef momos. Super fatty and had an onion kick and a super delicious chili sauce. This has just been an amazing day. So many friendly local people, lots of delicious food. We're gonna have to take this back to the hotel. I would love to hear your comments down below. Love to know what you thought about this video. And please click that notification bell and subscribe button so you can get all the updates for these deep street food tours. Thanks so much, guys.